Why did we watch? We're playing those? Super Mario Sunshine. Why did and we... it's been a while. It's been a while, but no one's gonna beat it today. So. Oh, no promises. You only have like four more stars to get. I have like eight thousand. You only have like eight more shine sparks to get. Okay, why didn't they just call them stars? Because shine sprites have a story reason. Why didn't they just call them stars? Because stars are overused. <laughs> Mario's overused. What are you talking about? I've, you he's know, only hit. He's name a sport Mario has played it in a video game. Name a sport he's played? No, name a sport. Any sport, and he has played it in a video game. Um, racquetball. He's played racquetball. Uh, duh. Badminton. Badminton and racquetball are identical. Badminton is not identical to racquetball. It just has a different thing. What am I doing? Uh, I've never played this game in oh. my life, dude. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. You know I don't even everything. know who made it. Hideo Kojima made it. I wish. Dude. I wish. Oh, that's right. Inverted controls. Man, I hope Hideo Kojima makes the next Mario game. He's never making a game in his life again. I, I And Metal Gear Solid 5 was his last game. That's not true at all. Yeah, it is. He true. said it in the statement with IGN that, hey true. guys, I'm never making a you game again. You screwed up that. What? You screwed that up. What? I don't know. I'm just trying to make judgment calls based on your life right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I think maybe you shouldn't have invested $750 into that game your friend told you. Oh, sorry, oh. 750 pounds. Oh, so you gotta play this level. 750 pounds. It's the level you don't particularly like. This level's alright. Actually, no, it's not. Well, this series of levels that you don't like. Yes. So anyway, we were watching a cringe compilation. Just make an HD remake of this. It looks so good on the Wii U. Probably would. And if they made a special edition of a Wii well, U, they're not making any more games for the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, but if they if they were, let's say if they were making another one, if they were making this in HD, and there's a special Wii U exclusive console that bundled with this and had a special Wii U that looked, oh. Oh. <laughs> that had a similar, like a like a cool design, like how the Wind Waker HD had a special design. Yeah. Then I would totally buy a Wii U. Well, Just for an HD yeah. remake of this. I think it's gonna be the NX as well. This is the hardest part ever. They haven't actually made that many HD Wii U releases. <laughs> they haven't really released that many games in Well, the now. weirdest thing is that Wind Waker well, didn't yeah, really they need a the remake. Yeah, kind of did. Well, I mean, its graphics are already fine on the game. I mean, it's not a matter of graphics. It's a matter well, I mean, of sales. But I, I guess, but it's like there are totally other games they could have done. Yeah, they could have. I mean, they could have done other things. I don't know which. Actually, if you think about it, it's like what other game would it? Would it okay, this one's hard. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot of 64 games that could probably do some stuff with. Uh, see that because this curves, you yeah. will slide. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, hey, got a length in that game. That's the hard part. You good? No jump. Yeah. Boom. See. Uh, but the, uh, Are you kidding me? Symbiote. I made it to the end. Moe Don't Lion King this. I won't lie. Did you see the last episode of Rick and Morty? Uh, yeah. The season finale? Yes, I did. <laughs> Someone edited in a video of the opening shot of Lion King. Like, you know, the uh, symbiote yeah, yeah. with the sun rising. Oh. But they made the sun that screaming sun. Oh. From like the when they're going to different planets, yeah. they just made it. It's like, dude, the sun is just screaming. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like, it's okay. it's, it's like, ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> you see the funniest videos ever. Um, I'll try and remember to show you it. I never remember to show you any of the things I say I'm gonna show you. And I pointed that out in an episode one time. You're like, what are you talking about? It was in The Last of Us. It was part three. And I said I was gonna show you something. And I you didn't, still didn't. I didn't show you it either. You also, didn't, we, even for the Skyrim talk, you didn't even send me the picture. I didn't. I forgot to send you that picture. You should have reminded me because you would. I didn't know. It. I was just like, whatever. Put the thing in. <laughs> oh yeah. Why did you use the ocelot picture for the last of us? It's Troy Baker. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> it's like a, It's like a joke. I was like, did he just use it because Troy Baker is ocelot as that, well? That's what I did. Yeah, that's the reason why. I was like, I could use Joel. But Joel was so last week. I like that you kind of gave up on writing descriptions once I started writing like. The well, like, you wrote that like intense like the the dawn of the. Oh, are you, I reviewed dawn of the wolf. Are you kidding? You see that? Yeah, I reviewed dawn of the wolf as though 
it as if it was real. I quoted some like made up reviewer, and then I just like made up a bunch of. Different and then it was things. just like, "Jeez, this is huge." <laughs> it was pretty long. And then, and then it's like, whatever you just whatever. Did you read the one I put up for one of the Mario parties? No. I think it was for like Mario Party Part Three. Of oh, which the first, one? The first series. Oh, the first Mario Party. Yeah. And it was a it was a fan fiction of a Taylor Swift and Waluigi. Oh, it's being in two. love. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it was just like about how like they can't be together because they're they're both too famous. And for yeah, some reason, Waluigi's too famous. And for some reason, I got like really emotional when I was writing. You were writing like a romance novel. I felt like really compelled when I, because originally what I wanted to do was I wanted to just like okay, I was just like all right, I'll copy and paste uh, a fan fiction of Waluigi. And I'll just credit, I'll credit the author and, okay. and you know, give him a little bit. Because uh, I credit pretty much everything I steal <laughs> from there. It's not called stealing, then. I, yeah, I know. Uh, I credit him, so it's fair. But uh, fanfiction.net does not let you copy and paste things. Oh, they're smart. Because you're already using other people's IPs. It's not like at any point Nintendo could be like, you cannot use... You cannot write fan fictions about Waluigi because we own the license of Did Waluigi. Did you see that? You had the camera pointed the wrong direction. That was I all on you. Forward. You shouldn't have pointed it forward. You stepped instead of jumped. Okay. You have one. This is the no, last one. No, last life. Yeah. So I wrote but that one. I like, I think I. I like this is too hard. I, I think I quoted like a bunch of. At some point, I don't know why, I was just like, alright, I'm just gonna put an excerpt from To Kill a Mockingbird in here. And why like, To Kill a Mockingbird? I don't know, because I was just like, I googled, the, I started to google, and it was like, excerpt from, and I was like, whatever just pops up, and To Kill a Mockingbird was the first one to pop up. So I put in like an incredibly irrelevant quote. You should just like put all the lines of dialogue in the game theory. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to keep that one in mind. I'll make. I'll do a fake game theory. I'll just do like how one of the episodes, one of the billion episodes where we talk about game theory. There's like, there's only like four. Yeah, there isn't that many, but he is a topic of discussion for us. Yeah. Are you gonna do it? I am. Oh. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably do something like that. I forget what else I did, but there was a couple other things like. I well, I thought you'd start doing them from like all of the videos since on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep doing them. I'm not done. I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't come up with anything more ridiculous. You see that? You. I hit A. You, <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything more ridiculous than what I had already written, so I decided I'd take a little break. And then I did one where I like combined like different verses of Taylor Swift's lyrics, <laughs> and like, like all, like seven of her different songs. Well, and one of, the, one of the last of the videos, I'm just like, Rob writes something. Yeah, I know, I saw that one. I think I'm not gonna write anything for that one. <laughs> I figured you, were, I, I figured since that one didn't have it, but like, the, like by the end of the week, I was like, alright, I'm not gonna write anything. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going at it. I just took a little break because I was like, I can't, I can't keep. <laughs> well, because many YouTube channels just like, if it's a series, they just copy and paste the description. Yeah, they're like they. Just... And then like it's like I, I have no idea what to do this for descriptions. I don't even care. Like for the new the, the Mario Party Part Four Part yeah, no, Seven. I was just like, I was like, I was like, I don't know, I didn't know what to name this episode. <laughs> I named it MGS Five. I don't know why. I think we just talked about the voice actor, David Hater, and then Kiefer Sutherland. We talked about that. It's like whatever, MGS Five. <laughs> like I don't even know. I'll rename it and be like all and, caps and he, exclamation and, point exclamation and point. And Metal Gear Solid Five is not in the YouTube tag system yet. Really? Yeah. Because like I typed that in, and because usually there's suggestions like yeah. there's two, three. Well, yeah, we need all to put of, it in the All title. of them are in there, but five. Wow. And I don't even think Ground Zero, Ground Zero is even in there either. Konami hates YouTube. It wasn't in there. I was like, wait, why isn't this showing up? The rest are. Why isn't this? <laughs> That's weird. It's really weird. So I just typed it in it myself. I was like, whatever. I don't need your suggestions. But oh, we kind of glitched our way up there. Yeah, it's basically this game. Those boos look awful. They do what? The tongue out? They look drunk? Well, no, with their eyes. Look at their dumb eyes. Let me let me see them. Well, they're high. Yeah. They, what do they do? What are, what are, what, are, what are they drugged up these boos for? You didn't even enter that. <laughs> I know. You just <laughs> touched, touched the it. corner of it. It's like how oh, you got in the blue. You're fine. You, you did not even begin. You. Why is it always starting off with three lives? Because every Mario game starts you off with five. It's true, but I guess you're just so good at this game. It's like, I mean, you're doing pretty good. Here's three lives. 
<laughs> Imagine like the I uh, like the like Mario's thought process when he enters something like this. Mm, I did not even mean to do that. I didn't even know I was in the process of doing it. Like Mario it's comes be into a this long first level. Seriously, this is Mario comes into this giant tube. I've just plastered with images of him. It would, it would really help if the background was something that wasn't so repetitive. Like just stare, just stare at this. Just stare at the blue. I don't want to. Exactly. It's, me a headache. it's like looking at a cringe compilation. Oh, oh wait, yeah, you don't have your your. I don't have my pack. That's why this is I harder. Forgot, yeah. If you replay it, you do. Yeah. Which makes the level. It's like a real Mario game. It's like Mario Galaxy for the GameCube. Hey. That's probably where they got the idea of jumping. What? Oh. This. This inspired Mario. <laughs> this inspired like, the Mario series. They were like, well, they started him off with the jetpack, and they were like, what if we just have him jump? <laughs> oh, did. He scared me. <laughs> I watched a oh, video on the so YouTube. Oh, Youngtown? Have you ever heard of him? Yeah, I've heard of the Youngtown. Oh, I like his videos where he does satire, because oh. I just don't... Cause I'm just a big fan of satire, where people just like mock actual like he did like top seven unknown facts about Mario, but he wouldn't it be known if they're unknown. Like <laughs> I know, but he's just like he, he it's like the point of the video, and he's like he has a someone else do all the writing for him, and so it's, at some point he's like one of the facts is like, did you know that in, Mario doesn't hit blocks with his head, but with his fist. And then he's like, he looks at the person filming it, and he's like, that, that's not, that's not unknown, that's pretty obvious. It's just like a commentary. Mario is floating there. Oh no, he floats there, when he grabs it, he's on the point of it. That's weird. So they continuing that. So wait, how many do we need? 40? I just need to complete the seventh level of every world. The seventh level of every world? So what are we on? Fourth world? I don't know, maybe it's been, it's been too long. Look at the, I don't know, look at the start menu or something. It's the Z button, actually. All right. the map. So you've and done four of them. So we have... Five of them. One. Five. It's not exactly precise. You've got seven there. Well, no, because here, gave up here I only got park. four. Here I got two. That's Whoa, where I was geez, just at. You guys are giving up so hard. One through... I got three. Well, you got Delfino five. Airstrip, too. No, Delfino Airstrip doesn't have any. It has one. One you got in the beginning. You need to get oh. the seventh of everything. Hey, so I've only gotten three so far. Of okay. these, I haven't gone to Noki Bay yet, so there's three more worlds I need to, no, four more worlds I need to go to. Well, let me do it. See how many stars you can get in rapid succession. Okay. Because this is, those levels are the hardest level, right? What, sevens? No, the, the, the... The seconds? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, because that's all the them are. Right, yeah, okay. But as you're talking, because... You, you know John Oliver? Yes. The, he he yeah, really he actually published a book called History's Greatest Lies. It's just him lying about history, <laughs> like straight up just, just this, this lies. He's like, and they're like funny ones too. It was like uh, the example one he gave was like uh, Abraham Lincoln pardoned somebody who committed bestiality because of like the war was going on and needed soldiers or whatever, uh -huh. and that person turned out to be John Wilkes Booth. But and then he's, and then he was like saying it seriously, right. and then he just said. That is actually a lie. I just straight up lied to you, and you didn't oh, even yeah, know. Yeah. Oh, I love when he does that kind and of then, stuff. And then, well, he does. It's like he shows a picture of a country, and it's like yeah, this country is so unknown that this actually isn't the country. This is. That's still not even the country. This is. I love what he. I love that bit that he did. I, I don't know how. Like I just saw the clips of it. I don't. I can't. I don't really watch it. I remember like, there's a glitch to get the pineapple immediately. Oh, uh, forgot it. Well. There is a glitch where you can just straight up get the pineapple immediately. Why do you need the pineapple? To get to Yoshi. Oh my god, I hate the Yoshi's. And then, but you just, like, you could just, like, glitch it and have the pineapple in your hands, but I forgot it. You know, Yoshi doesn't really make a lot of sense in this game. Well, they needed Yoshi. He I wasn't mean, even advertised at all. He's not in the box, he's not in the back, he's not even in the manual. Whoa, with Sonic and Tails doing in there. I mean, why were you... Man, as soon as that game came out, people were freaking out. That, that, that thing? The Sonic Dreams Collection. You know why? Why? It was, like, interesting. The creepiest thing ever? No, it was actually, like, like the legitimately... The most interesting game that's not, so, that's not officially licensed by Sega? Not of, like, just in general, it was probably, like, the most interesting thing to come out. It's definitely creepy. I mean, yeah, it was pretty creepy, and, like, if you're a fan of Sonic, you'll definitely like it. Oh, I'm sure they all know. No one loves... Here are the bigger boobs. Uh-huh. 
right there. Yeah. Or they sleep. Or they sleep. Or they're on vacation. Or These are the, the vacation booths. They're all. Oh, they're I all see. drunk and hungover. Drunk and hungover at the same time. Well, some of them. The, the ones that are over there are getting drunk. These ones are hang hungover. Oh, okay. Well, they, they should be careful right? because they're literally. I can't just, go anywhere. These booths are in the way. We'll just blast them with water. They don't. You have to have Yoshi to eat them. Well, I guess you need Yoshi then. I need to get the pineapple though. Then go get the pineapple. I have to go through here though. <laughs> well, it's it, clearly a maze. It is a well, yeah. So you can see it. Well, can't you just go through them and take the hit? No, because they block you immediately. They oh, hit you okay. back. Because that area is blocked, and then that area is right there. Just block. What the heck? Keep going. Just go forward. Because if I go like this here right now. Yeah, and then yeah, you should be able to get go straight, right? Straight into this, this thing. Okay. And then it just gets me right back in the lobby, and I don't need to go there. All I need right. to get on the other side. Okay, go down that way then. Which way? The other, the go left now. Left? Yeah, here. Uh huh. And then that should take you to the circle. Take me to here. So dive. I don't know. There's I have no, no idea. I don't I, even know anything about this video game. I'm well. That's the. This is like the no progression episode. Seriously, it is. <laughs> We're making like minimal progress here. I have to write something about like how I believe. Write that... a deep, meaningful description. Oh, I'll probably write so that way. Talk to that guy. See what he has to say. He just talks about Luigi's Mansion. All these ghosts are causing such trouble. They're everywhere. Why can't someone come along and suck them up with a vacuum? It's a Luigi's Mansion reference. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you made an in-game reference, silly. See? So do these two events take place simultaneously? No. Mario's Mansion and Luigi's No, because Mario's captured in Mario and Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Did you try blasting that guy with water? What the... None of them work! Try and blast him with water. None of them do anything. Oh, I forgot. You don't go through here. Whoops. Yeah, so there's people are doing it in here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> the no progression episode. <sighs> At least I have a. I guess I can actually name the episode now. Yeah, well, I'll just. Well, usually because I edit the video and then I just kind of like upload like. Well, you do, do the editing stuff. Well, I mean, I, that's good well, enough. Well, I, mean, I do that. I put. I just leave the episode just in the files. Uh huh. And then I completely forget about. And then it's like, oh, I should probably upload this. And then I upload it because usually when I'm editing it, I immediately upload it so that way I can remember the name, like what happened in the episode, so I can name it and it makes sense. But then when I leave it in the files for too long, it's like. Ah, uh, what happened in that episode? Yeah. Eh, I completely forgot. I'll do that. You want to do naming from now on? I won't do naming from now on, but I mean, if, if you're having trouble with the episode. If I, if I watch I'll an write, episode... I'll put it in the description, Rob, name it. <laughs> yeah, if I watch an episode and I'm like, oh, you should have named that Kung Fu Champions 14. What? <laughs> Something we talked about there, like, I don't know. I just killed that boo by diving into it. Yeah. So as you can tell, this game is not meant to handle indoor environment. It's really not. It's a definite weakness right now. Yeah, this entire love world takes place in a hotel. Well, you, yeah, the camera's a little finicky here. Yeah, it is. There's not a lot of indoor, like, indoor, like, platforming games. At least of this, at least of a 3D variety. Ah! So there's a trick, boo. You got tricked. There's pineapple. All right. You can't go through that door. Oh, oh wait, no. You just kick it open. You're Mario. Yeah, I guess you can. I don't know. My knowledge of this game is limited at best. Yeah, that guy's guarding the casino. See, the thing about Yoshi's is that, like, in the first Yo time you use Yoshi, he's just really good at jumping. Like, you can get another jump, and he's really powerful. But in here, he's just, like, a puzzle key. Oh, I think I... Oh, you don't even need to get Yoshi. I remember the glitch now. Okay. So, well, a little late now. Yoshi. Yeah. I mean, if I you... mean, I could try. I think it's it's pretty precise, so I might mess up. Well, yeah. Well, whatever. I mean, if you really feel like you need to demonstrate it, but you probably don't. Oh, okay. You, oh. What was it? You Hope they didn't patch it out. <laughs> they issued a patch for this. Oh, 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 oh! Almost had it. There's a special spot in this. Yeah, there's where they missed the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's not like an invisible wall, so you can just complete. Oh, they do the jump right. Come on. No, they're not gonna let you. No, I have to watch the video again. Oh, yeah, well. Oh look well. Look how much juice Yoshi lost. We can't make it too much progress here. Right. Don't want to let that happen. Bada bing. 
Okay. I said bada bing. Cause I just because I was nowhere near it and yet I got inside. So I need to head this direction. So if that's the yeah. bad area. Okay. That this should be right there. How you how do you get to that though? Go to the maze. You're just gonna go randomly? Well, path this isn't really a maze. I mean if you can view a maze from top down, it's not well, much of a maze. Wah, 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 wah. No, I can't get out because Yoshi. You can't really? Yeah, I think I'm stuck. Go down. Can't you get like that? To oh, that's the table. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I guess I can. Yeah, you're good. Boom. <sighs> I mean, you can grab that blue that coin. <sighs> no, I'm stuck in here. Well, you got a blue coin, so. I'm gonna leave continue. Yoshi. Oh, didn't want to have too much progress. The finest. Oh, 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 can't do it both. And oh, you can. Okay. Now just wait for Yoshi to die. Okay. Well, All right. great episode.